I'm uncertain of Maximista's intended purpose. Go ahead. You deserve a freebie after the terrible non-wife that I've been. I'm aware that you feel guilty. This is why I didn't want to get married, Spinelli. Because I love you so much, but that's the problem. I always screw up everything that's good in my life. Oh, that's manifestly untrue. Look when I was six, I, I had a guinea pig. My mom gave it to me, and I decided that I wanted to give it a mani petty and a dye job. And I killed it. I mean, that's what I do. I kill things. I destroy relationships. After that, I decided that I, I didn't want to try anymore, so I would just do whatever I wanted and then lie about it. And then I met you, and I didn't want to lie anymore. I wanted to be the person that you inspired me to be, the person you believed in and trusted. I didn't tell you everything that happened with Franco when I left the gallery opening with him. I know. Due to the perilous nature of the situation, Stone Cold felt compelled to show me, to show me the photo of your fair self blindfolded lying in the chalk outline of one of Franco's art installations. He warned me that he showed you the picture. And I understand why he did that, because, you know, Franco is obsessed with Jason, and Franco also seems kind of crazy, which you think I would have picked up on, but I didn't because I was focused on me, as usual. Okay, but I, I don't see how that relates to the models in the glossy periodicals. Well, I work with all of the top modeling agencies, and I can hook you up with one of the most beautiful women in the world, so you should pick one, get your revenge, that way we can be even and everything can go back to normal. You want me to have intimate relations with a stranger? Yes. Because I did more than let Franco take my picture. I'm really sorry, Spinelli. I messed up, and I don't want to ruin our non-marriage the way I've ruined everything else in my life. I slept with him. I know that, too. You do? How, how did you find out that I slept with Franco? The jackal was standing at the threshold of Stone Cold's apartment and overheard you confiding the truth to fair Samantha. What? Why didn't you yell at me and tell me what a horrible person I am? You were, you were overwhelmed and vulnerable. Frank, Franco lured you with his dark No, he didn't and... lure me. I, I, I had a choice. I think you underestimate the diabolical artist's power of persuasion. Even Stone Cold has fallen prey. You didn't stand a chance. I could have resisted Smelly. I should have, but I was too focused on trying to get Franco to do the spread for Crimson. You're, you're, you're intent on a successful career trajectory. The, the Glacier one has- Stop making excuses for me, okay? I did what I did, and it, I'm a horrible person. You should hate me. I could never hate you. Then yell at me and tell me that I don't deserve you because I don't. You put your faith in the wrong person. Well, that is not so. I cheated on you the first chance that I got. We, we don't need to speak of this any further. It's it's over. No, it's not going to be over until we're even. If you don't cheat on me, Spinelli, we're through. You don't get to snap your fingers and just forgive me. I mean, the nicer you are, the worse that I feel. Well, my apologies. Don't apologize. Just have sex with another woman. I'm not going to be able to move on from this until you hurt me as badly as I've hurt you. Until every time I see you, I'm struck with an image of you and another woman ripping each other's clothes off. I love you. I don't want another. You're a guy, Spinelli. Don't tell me you don't look at other women and think that they're hot. Okay. Yes, I, I, I appreciate the beauty of the human form. Okay, well, which form do you appreciate the most? Exactly, this is a futile exercise. Please, don't tell me that if she walked into your pink bedroom completely naked, you would, what, kick her out? Okay, uh, you know, hypotheticals are pointless. I'm not telling you to jump in front of a bus. It's sex. And I know that you like sex. With you, Maxie. My non-wife and soulmate when... We two become one, the perfect expression of our love. I have to return to my task of tracking the darkly focused one. I mean, Franco, the guy I cheated on you with. Enough. Spinelli, you're a really sweet person, but you have to want to get back at me. Did you hear anything that I just said? I'm talking about lust, not love. Okay, I, I, I steadfastly refuse to, to sleep with any random model in a magazine. Okay, it could take a lot of favors, but I could probably get Anne Hathaway's phone number. I don't want carnal knowledge of any woman but you. Just admit that you're angry. 
I have experienced a, a plethora of emotions since hearing your confession to Sam, but they've all passed. My dearest wish is a simple one. I just, I just, I just want to repair the damage and move on. I can't move on, Spinelli, not like this. I feel horrible. And you don't want me to feel horrible, right? I mean, it has to be an eye for an eye or a bed for a bed or whatever. I'm sorry, I can't embrace that philosophy. Please, Spinelli, I deserve this. And if you love me, you'll sleep with another woman.